Okay. Well, so, let's get out and look at the inside. I'm gonna kind of look here at the bank where my husband's been working and redoing it all winter. This is the little town of Freedom. There's the Chop House, Cimarron Saloon, and this is the bank. It's not a very big town. You won't be able to see in there. Let's Let me see. Right up against it. Oh, man. Yes, Lauren, you've been doing some work. this way. Nope, that didn't help. There, I put my hand up there, helped. It's going to be pretty. Wish I could see it better, but that's all I can get of it right now. Hopefully, he'll take some pictures. No, you were going to come back over here when we got it done and look at it. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Now, we're heading to another entryway uh -huh. tear this all out oh they're gonna tear this here out and this will be the entry okay we're heading to another little town about 30 miles away to get some chicks it's that time of year okay i got my chickens my baby chicks have 20 of them. I'm going down on the food. They've eaten that whole container today. And Kit Kat, she gets up here and sits and stares down in there. She's not as excited as she was the last last year when we got them, so kind of leaves them alone. Once in a while she sits and watches them. But we have heavy bricks to make sure she cannot get in there because she is a cat. Okay, this is what I'm working on now. These are the curtains that I bought at the thrift store I think was it last week that I showed on my thrift haul. And I paid a dollar for two panels. And they just fit my kitchen windows. But I'm going to put some stars and a crow on them. So I went into my Silhouette software. And got some stars and sized them and the crow. And I've cut them out with black cardstock. Just so I could see if I was going to like it. But I did... Now, I'm going to take this, uh, what is this, stencil film, and I'm going to cut the, the stencils out with my Cameo, so I can stencil them on here with this uh, tulip fabric paint, and this is a bottle that I got at the thrift store for 50 cents, and I took the lid off, and it's never even been opened. Is still sealed so I'm going to use that with the stencil and I'm going to cut that out with my cameo and I did kind of trace around my because I have them laid out the way I want them and I don't want to I don't want to try to have to do it again because it took me a bit to get it laid out that way so I traced around them a little bit and now I'm going to make my stencil so I can stencil them on and we'll see what it turns out looking like i thought i'd show you right fast there's the large star star the smaller star and the crow and i am going to try to use the stencil material i upped the blade to cut at five and the pressure at 33 with two passes and i'll check it before i unload it out of the cameo machine to make sure it cut off all the way. And if not, I'll just send it back through again until it's all cut. All right, the, my Cameo went through two times and I think it cut. I'm hoping it cut. It took two passes. So 
So far, it's looking good. I need to order some more of this. This cut nice. I don't want to rip that toes off that bird or anything. The toes. Let's see. That come out all right. want to stick back down on there. I don't want to rip my stencil. Okay, they all came out fine, except this little piece here that goes between the legs of my crow. I don't know, can you see right in here where the crow's at? There's where it's supposed to go. I did my outline. And this will go in there somewhere. Let's see. Up like that. Somehow, I'm going to have to get that to stay in place. I think I'm going to have to get some... The Allings tack it over and over and put it on there and let it dry a little bit so... It will hold that centerpiece where the leg goes in. And then I'll start stenciling. All right, here is my little leg piece. I'm pretty sure it goes. Well, you know, I better check my image. Okay, it's gonna go like that. So I am going to, I've got this Allen's tack it over and over. It's repositionable. So I'll just put it. I need something to there. On the back of that and let it dry. And once it's dry, it, it'll be where I can put it down on there. and then just pull it back up when I'm finished. Okay, I have started it, and I've got that centerpiece down in there. I started out with the sponge, and I've went to a paintbrush. And I'm just pulling up. Hope it don't run under there. Kind of holding this down. And I really don't know what it's going to look like till I'm done. I can pull it up. I don't want to. Okay, I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to go on the feet. I'm kind of going to dab. Probably going to have to go around the edges where the black pin is. Because for some reason it didn't match up. And then as it dries, probably go over it some more. I'm really concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm going to try to get this crow finished and pull it up. Okay, i got to get down here on this leg. That's the only thing about having clear stencil you can't really tell where it's at. And I'll do touch up with the stencil not on it. But I think I'm going to pull it up and see what it looks like. I've got to get a something for my brush. I don't want it drying out for a minute. Okay. I taped it down so it wouldn't move. And I gotta keep making sure I don't have anything on my hands and then touching the curtain. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm just gonna have to, uh, I can see, where's my brush now? The outline of my bird. Oh, there's my piece I forgot that. I got a little wet in there. It started running. I'm kind of afraid of that.
going where I have the black pen. After I get this one done, I have my second panel I've got to do. Now I've got to figure out how to get it all spaced the same way on the other curtain there because I'm going to quit because if I keep doing that and I mess it up, that looks fine. Okay, I've got to lay my stars down and I don't want to lay it over wet paint so I'm going to let I'm going to run my heat gun over it a while and dry it up so I can start on my stars. All right, I have this one done, not done, but it's it's drying and it's going to need another coat. But I'm going to have to figure out how to get this same identical pattern on the other one. I mean, the way it's leaning and everything. If I'd had one big long stencil, it would have been okay, but I I didn't. Uh, I had just this and I have to turn them and everything, but if I'd had one big long sheet, it'd make a good stencil. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure something out. This is taking longer than I thought it would, but I'll let this dry, give it a second coat, and work on trying to find a way to get it to the other side of the curtain identically. All right, guys, this is what I've come up with. I've got tissue paper here. Oh my goodness, there's the inside of my little bird about lost that I'm gonna need right now. Anyways, this is the only thing I'm just, the stripe on the other curtains off and this curtain is a little bit wider also because this is right here, this is the width of the curtain of the other one. So this is about an inch. I'm just going to put that in the middle and that will be where it goes. So I'll turn this. I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to try to slip that paper Well, you know what? I ought to tape that up there first. That would probably help. And once I get all the first coat on both of them and done like that, it, it won't take me long to go over them with the second coat. Okay, that is right there. And right there. That'll keep me from messing up where that goes. Okay, I will pull this out. It's all, that's the only way I can figure out to do it. And now I'll start filling this in, putting the paper back down and pulling it out. All right, guys, I'm going to continue on and try to get these on there, let them dry and give them the second coat and see how they turn out. Okay, I'm starting on my last star. And once I get that done, I'll let them dry really well. It's got to be the small one. I'll let them dry really well. And then go over them with a second coat. Right there. I'm going to have to pull that down before... I don't really have anywhere to tape this down before I pull it. And there's a little spot, a little bitty spot. Well, I have not had this trouble. I think I'm gonna make it, oh, I got a spot there. I can tape it down before I pull it the rest of the way out. up on the crow's feet and now I can finish this one I had to be on my couldn't get my there I've got to finish this one right here and I'll let it dry and we'll give them a second coat after they're good and dry okay I am having a heck of a time with these curtains because it was attached with this, the stretch kind, or the kind with the spring, because that's the only thing I can use up in my window. Well, he's had something up here before. 
but because of the wood, boy, the sun is like that. I can't use anything but the stretch. So I'm going to try to go ahead and hang it. I've ran some wire through it. This is going to be fun. Well, it was fun getting that wire into both of those curtains to start with. So I'm going to work on that and see if I can get them hung to where y'all can see what they look like. Okay, I'm going to have to show you the curtains that gave me fits. <clears throat> and it wasn't the curtains. Yeah, it was the curtains. A little bit of everything. Anyways, I'm having a hard time getting a shot of it because, of course, it's facing the window. But to start with, I finally got figured out how to put all... I shut my camera off. Anyways, I figured out how to get all this on there, and I went to hang them, and the rod that goes through up there, because I have to have a tension rod. I cannot have a rod that comes out because I have a live edge. Well, I don't know if you can even see that, but it's live edge and you can't really hang anything on it. It's not flat. So there had been some prior hooks up there and because my rod was too big to go through that up there, the very tip of it, the rod itself was fine, but the rubber tip, because it's a tension rod, it wouldn't go through there. So I put it up with wire. I'm just trying to do my best, guys, till I could get something. Well, I went to Walmart finally, and I got one that I think I thought would go through there just fine and work fine. Well, when I got home, I didn't have it. She had laid it up on the little turntable at Walmart, and I forgot to pick it up. And I live 45 minutes away from town, out in the country. I couldn't just run back and get it. So I rigged it up to where it was working because the wire was drooping up here. So I put a little hook thingy up there finally today and put the wire, I know y'all can't see that, to keep the curtains when I shut them from just going phew, you know, drooping down. Anyways, but the bottoms, of my hems right here, one curtain was about that much longer. So I took this one down and I rehemmed it. And now they're both the same length, but they still have wire, but I have this video. I wanted to get it out and show you what I made. And someday when I remember, I'll get another curtain rod and put it up there properly but they are working for right now. And that's how my curtains turned out. Now I have this little jar. I got two of them, but I'm just gonna do one for right now. I paid 50 cents for it. So I'm gonna cover it with cheesecloth and I got the cheesecloth out that I already had coffee dyed. And I think I'm just going to use a piece of the white because what I'm going to put on it is a cinnamon mixture with Mod Podge and coffee. So I'm just going to put some of that on there instead of, and save that for when I'm needing bows or not going to be working with the Mod Podge. There's no sense in using that. So, I'm just going to, probably going to need more than one layer. Cheesecloth is not the easiest thing to work with. I do have some really good cheesecloth, but it's more like a material almost. I use that in the kitchen. I'll use it in here sometimes too. Okay. I'll say about right in here, I want to double it. Well, you know what? I think I'll mess with this off camera so you don't have to see me. And as soon as I get it, well, I don't know. That's probably okay because it's not going to take that much to go around it. 
I about right there. I think I have it done. I hope that's enough. Well, if it's not, cut another strip off and put another layer on it. Ah, come on. Now where did I say to go to? Right to there. I'm just going to cut that off out of my cheesecloth. Okay, now set that aside. And I hope that's layered enough. But surely with this dark kind of straighten this piece out right here. Got a piece hanging. And all I do is I put some uh, cinnamon and coffee and Mod Podge in this little container and I just put seal it back up and Reuse it. I wonder. I should have went on up. Probably should have. So I can probably stretch that. Okay. Let's start putting some on. Yeah, I can stretch it. Went the wrong way. Started in the wrong area. Okay. I'll get this over on it. The first. Oh, holy moly. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, I think I'm going to have to shut the camera down and clean up my mess. It's not too bad. I've had a lot worse. I'll be right back. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That's why I, when I went to into town, I went to Walmart, and I bought a three-pack of these bundled together, and it stood that deep. And I come around, I told Lauren, I, I said, my husband, I said, I need baby wipes. He said, what for? Because I said, I need them in the my craft room. I'm messy. So I went around the corner and I got him the three pack and I come back around. He goes, why do you need that many? I said, because I'm messy. <laughs> I don't like to run out of them. And when you live, the, you know, a ways out, you can't just run to town and get some. Or you can't just run to the store because I live too far out. Okay, push that up there. Now I'm just going to be going around it. How far did I get? That's already dry time. I cleaned up my mess. I mean, I, if I had a little, little, if I got little jars, I would save them. But I don't ever have anything little. This little, like that. I thought it was the shape of it was really cute. This is kind of fun to do, too. I mean, I enjoy doing it. Get it around here. If you don't like the grungy look, you won't probably like this. Of course, you probably wouldn't be watching a lot of my videos either. Okay, get back up there. All right, 
I am going to finish putting this on. And when I get to the, uh-oh, that one side's good. Well, it was bigger there. That's okay. I'll just fill it in with a little piece. What would it be if everything went smooth? I wouldn't know. Okay. It's not going to take much of a piece. Just a little tiny piece to stick right there. Right in there. Alright, I'm going to let this, I'm going to fix that and I'll be back. Alright, while well, my little jar is drying and I patched it, it doesn't look bad. But while it's drying, I'm going to grungy up my candle. Gotta get a brush. Always forget something. Okay. Kind of overkill on the brush. Alright. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do the bottom first so I can hang on to this. And then when this dries, I'll turn around and do the flame. These little candles are on a timer. I don't know if it's four or six hours. They turn on and then turn off, and then turn on the same time the next day. But I'm just going to use the same mixture I was using for my little jar. It's just Mod Podge coffee and cinnamon. And I'm going to put a coat of this on there. And then some cinnamon. Well, this stuff's wanting to beat up on this. Get that around in there. But after the first coat, it should start working because I'll give it more than one coat. Set this aside. Just bounce my cinnamon on. Got it over a plate so I can uh, put this cinnamon, what I don't use, back in there. Put it on pretty heavy. And then I'll bounce it. there's what it looks like right now. Now, I usually try to figure out something to hang on to it while it's drying. Okay, well this is drying too. I'll very carefully set it right there, let it dry, and come back and I'll coat it again. And I'll show you on the next step what, I mean, I'll show you because um, I can't remember her name. I was going to. <laughs> Anyways, I had a, a comment, and she wanted to know how I grunged my candles. So, I told her, I, she didn't, I asked her if she wanted the cinnamon or the wax, and she said she'd like to see both of them. So, I'm just doing, when I can, when I have a project, I'll put that in here. So I got this one and I'll sometime do one with the wax. This is dried, I think. I'm just going to brush some of the... You can see there's spots that it didn't take, but we're going over it again. Just brushing a little bit of that off. I'm going to put another coat on it. Okay, I'm going to have to go around the top right fast. There, it's coated. And I'm taking it off on the bottom by hanging on to it. Mm 
and I'm going to put another coat of cinnamon on it. I get it all coated. Okay, I've bounced just a little bit of it off and set it aside to dry again. And then once that's good and dry, I'll brush it just a little bit and I'll go over it with one coat of this. And then when it's dry, I'll turn it around and do the top. I've given my uh, candle two coats of uh, Mod Podge and cinnamon. And this is the way it dried. And you can leave it this way because nothing's coming off. I've done my top up here. It's peeling off here, but that's fine because that's where the battery goes and it'll go down inside my jar. But you can leave it like this or you can give it this look here, which is a little darker, looks more waxy. And that's what I'm going with on mine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on this side. So it's the same, let it dry so I can move on and get my little jar finished. All right, my candle is somewhat dry and I really should have just left my light part because I've got it so dark it's not showing up too well. So you might keep that in mind. But I've got, here's my little jar, I was gonna put it in. And I had this tube, I had several of them. This is the one that fit the best. And it. I don't want my candle all the way down in there. So I want it setting up some. And this catches on just about right on the uh, parts that look like wax dripping. Down in the bottom there, it is really dipped in. So this thing kind of wants to set off. So I'm gonna have to put this on there to help me guide it, put some hot glue around this and get it centered properly. It's the only thing I could figure out to get it to stay up. Okay, right in the center. I'll take this out and hold this down. That looks good. All right, now that's going to kind of show. What am I going to do? I guess just take some of my, okay, I'll do this. I'll run this down in there. Get me a paintbrush. That'll cover it. And that covered the white. Now, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with the front, if much at all. I'm going to look around here and figure out what I can use on it. Okay, I've tied just a little checked bow on there. And I think I'm just going to stick a little bit of the Sweet Annie out the sides like that. And probably call that good, I think. 